Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. My name is Brianna. This is Coffee Books and Bullet Journals and today I am going to be doing a look through in my book bullet journal. journal video that I put up uh, two years ago is to date my most popular video it still ends up making my top 10 most popular videos like in a 28 day time span however I'm not using that bullet journal <laughs> at all anymore and so I thought I wanted to, I, I wanted to give you guys an update into what I'm actually doing this is a little bit of a like it's a hot mess, I'll be honest. But I had another one. Um, my puppy destroyed it. And so this is kind of still a work in progress. However, I was realizing that I wasn't using a lot of the spreads. Things like the series that I want to reread and the, um, I don't even remember what spreads they were because I wasn't using them. Um, I also don't use page trackers when like, you know, reading a certain amount of pages a day because I read a lot of eARCs and so those don't have actual pages so I wasn't able to track it so I've just stopped doing that and my book bullet journal now is very very minimalist it is the things that I need on a nor on a day-to-day -day basis so we'll go ahead and look at it I'm gonna show you what it is that I'm working in so this is a Loistrom 1917 it's the like teal version this is one of their newer colors this one I got on Amazon you can also get them at Barnes & Noble I've seen them in other bookstores and things like that I use the Loistrom for, for pretty much everything if I'm using if I'm doing a bullet journal I'm it's gonna be a Loistrom I've used other products before and I just don't like them it is a dot grid they are numbered, which I enjoy. I very much like for this purpose. Now I do still need to go back and actually fill out my index because I haven't been doing that. But I usually will about like once every couple months go in and fill out the index and that works fine. So let's talk about what is in here. So like I said, at the beginning, it's the index. I haven't done anything. I always leave this page blank because then if I do end up wanting to get creative or if I have a sticker or something like that, then I can make this my cover page. I just haven't done that yet. <laughs> the first page I have is my annotating key. So I'm going to do a separate video on how I annotate books and that's coming later in the month. But this is my key for annotating every single book. Every color, it means the exact same thing in every single book. If I do change it, I put a post-it note in that actual book. But like 99.9% .9 of the time, that's, that's what these mean. And I was finding that I was having to like go, even like within reading a book, I was having to flip back to remember what certain colors were, especially with characters, world building and plot. I was always like getting those three mixed up for some reason. So that's what these mean. The next thing I have is a genre tracker. Now, this is a little bit confusing if you don't know what it is. It, like, it looks like a hot mess, but basically what I wanted to do was to figure out how much of each genre I was reading. Each of these months correlate to, or each of these colors correlate to the months um, on everything else. If you look at all of my channel, like if you go back all year, January's books are a certain, or January's thumbnails are a certain color. February's thumbnails are a certain color. And I use that color scheme throughout everything else. So in here, it's the same color. In, um, on my spreadsheet, it's the same color. Everything is the same. Because that way I know, oh, I read that book in this month. Or I did, oh, I did that video in this month. It's, it helps my organized chaotic brain. Anyways, as you can see, I'm still definitely reading more fantasy or uh, more contemporary than anything else. You can see there's a, a big uh, clump of it for contemporary thon. That's contemporary thon. I believe that was reread a thon, which would have been a lot of contemporaries. The next biggest one would probably be the graphic novels. Again, that makes sense. A um, lot of them during the newts. 
And then next one would be romance or fantasy, which is pretty crazy as far as like the fact that fantasy is in my top three. Anyways, this was just kind of a way to, for me to track, you know, that I was actually reading some things. <laughs> Uh, you know, things like historical fiction or nonfiction that I don't read a lot of. At least this was showing me that I am reading some. <laughs> this was a video that I did at the beginning of the year. This is my 19 books that I wanted to read in 2019. As you can see, I am not doing that great at it, but that's okay. <laughs> I don't know if I'll finish them by the end of the year. We'll see. There's a few of them that I just don't care. I don't want to read. So there's that. We'll, we'll just have to see. I did leave a couple of pages blank in case I wanted to do any other um, collection pages, anything like that, before I moved on to my Nut Galley arcs. Yes, I have a lot of these. I'm thinking if you want, I will do a separate video on all of my Nut Galley arcs if you're interested in what I have on my thing. I left a separate page just because I know that this is going to last me quite a while because I don't use that many pages per month um so i wanted to have an extra page for next year as well and then we move on so i started doing this mid august actually towards the end of august um because that's when my other one got destroyed i came home one night and it was all over the place and i about cried might have actually cried it's a good thing she's cute all right so what I have been doing with these, and these, uh, FYI, are spoilery, so don't read them. I don't know if you can read them, but I've been trying to take very detailed notes. I was watching Melanie from Melt of the Any. I was watching vlogs that she was doing and talking about how she does notes, and so I kind of wanted to do those notes as well. Mine are different. They do look different. They are different, and they're actually ever-evolving as I kind of each book. So my general generally I'm only doing these books or these reviews for books that I'm not listening to on audio because when I'm listening to them on audio I'm usually driving and so then I'm not able to obviously make notes however anything I'm physically reading I'm trying to take notes especially for my arcs so I have a section of characters and I literally will write down every single character like this guy right here Miguel is a security guard and then I'll just write down like any type of description that they have about him he's a night guard in a building complex he literally does not make an appearance after that one scene but i didn't know that when i first started so i wrote him down and then i have like a chapter breakdown now i ended up finishing this book on audio just because i like needed i wanted to get it finished so i wasn't able i didn't make notes after like chapter 26 it was like two hours left of audio but i like had to go to work and i wanted to finish it and then I just have random notes. So like if I have a question about something, if I think that something might be a foreshadow, I put it in here. Then I have any type of quotes, uh, anything that I want to put in my review. Um, if I wanna put a quote in a review or anything like that. Then at the bottom, I put uh, content, content warnings or trigger warnings because I wanna make sure that in my reviews, I'm doing that. Okay, then moving on, I, this is pretty much the same thing. Uh, this one did not end up doing as well. I ended up stopped doing notes for Dark Dawn just because, um, I, I just couldn't keep up. Let's be honest. All right. So then I, this is my first full month. This is September. So I have my TBR. Now, obviously there are other things that I might want to read, but these are the things that I put on my TBR video. So if I talked about it in a video, it's on here. Okay. Okay. All right, and then at the end, on the other flip side of that, I write down all of the books that I actually read. So what I'm trying to track is A, what books I'm reading, um, and then a star rating, things like that. Then on this side, I want to see what books on my TBR did I actually read. And for this one, I did pretty well. I DNF'd one, finished four, and, did, and moved one to the next month. So I started doing notes on this one, DNF'd it. <laughs> um, and so some of the notes, I mean, some of the books have much better notes than others. Some don't. 
that's that's just how it ends up happening. Um, sometimes I just kind of like once I finish the book, I just wrote an entire like this is going to be my review on um, Goodreads that I still need to put on. All right, and then moving on into October, this one I actually had to put in later because I forgot to put a haul. I do want to write because in September I didn't do a book haul. Um, well, I did, but they were mostly August books. But anyways, I wanted to put a books hauled because I'm really bad about getting ready to film a book haul and being like, wait, did I haul this book last month? Is Did I get this one in the last month? So this way I have a list of the books that I've hauled since my last book haul. And then here it's exactly the same thing. My October TBR, my books read. I'm being so super minimalistic with this because I was noticing that I, I'm not because I'm using a digital bullet journal for my actual bullet journal I still want this because if I'm reading on my iPad it's hard to also take notes on my iPad if that makes sense so I still wanted like a hard cover for this but I was realizing that if there was a whole bunch of stuff that I had to be working in every single day I wasn't doing it so this is why it's very very minimalistic Okay, and then we just move on to the book that I'm currently reading, which, yes, I am aware, I've been reading this book forever. Uh, and then that's it. So, like I said, I still have a ton of space to go. I project that this will last me at least, like, through February, I would imagine. Um, so there will be some other things. I'll um, At the end of the year, I'll do an update of this with what I'm going to be putting in for 2020. Because I do, because it'll be the beginning of the year, I'll have some collection pages that I will want to put in and I will do an update video for you there. The majority of the time when I'm writing um, in my, this one, or in this journal, so I always will use a brush pen um, for the title, if you'll notice, like, um, and I always try to pick like a color that's on the cover. And then um, for my actual like notes and things like that, I've been using my fountain pen, which I've been loving. It's a Pilot Metropolitan uh, fine tip fountain pen it's so much fun to write with and this was a gift from my boss which is cool um <laughs> I've just been having so so much fun with it and it matches which is cool I'm a dork it's fine anyways that is all I have for you today if you are new here and you have not yet subscribed there's a little red button that you can do so down below the video and all of the links to my social media will be in the description below if you would like to be my friend on any other platform thank you all for watching and I will see you next time Makes this heartbeat faster.